to Turning Stone Classic 31. Uh, we're coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. Uh, it's a beautiful casino. It's a very large casino and very comfortable. Uh, we want to thank uh, the Turning Stone. We want to thank Mike Zuglin, a Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour. Uh, we'll be back here also in August. Uh, we'll get a match that's going to get underway shortly. It's going to be Dale Kimmett versus Eric Crow 2. Uh, I had a candidate I asked how to pronounce his last name, and he said Crow 2. Uh, before we get started on the way, uh, we do have some folks to, thanks to thank. Uh, Kamui. Uh, you can go over to KamuiTips.com and purchase your newest Roku chalk right there. Uh, it's uh, the hottest chalk, actually, on the market right now. Uh, it's KamuiTips.com. The quest for excellence starts with Kamui. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Zawat. Uh, he owns the real estate company up in the greater Boston area. It's called Adu Emma. Uh, you can get in touch with Mr. Zuat right there at the uh, telephone number or that website, and uh, you can ask questions. Uh, a lot of people are making money with uh, Zuat. Uh, you can make some big money. Go right over to that website or call them up. I want to thank uh, Chalky Sticks. Chalky Sticks is the uh, best app you can download. It's free to download, number one, so it's really a no-brainer. Uh, it's got a uh, pool room locator, so if you're out of your area and you want to know where a pool room is, uh, you can just click on your uh, Chalky Sticks app, and it'll show you the closest pool room to your location. It's got a 24-hour, uh, seven days a week billiard channel uh, for pool and uh, three-cushion billiards. Anything really related to pool. And it also has a, um, a diagram, overhead view of a table where you can set up a shot that you're having a problem with and uh, discuss it with a pro uh, on forums uh, or wherever it might be. We would like you to use AZ Billiards. It's azbilliards.com. Uh, it's free to become a member. And you can post your event in there and talk about pool, anything under the sun. azbilliards.com is the world's largest website for pool and billiards. Uh, chalky Sticks we're talking about. And you go over to ChalkySticks.com and you can download yours right there. Chalkysticks.com. Uh, we also want to uh, thank uh, Light-Systems.com. This is the LED lighting that uh, is taking the world by storm. Uh, just about every pool room that I go into uh, really has the LED lighting now. Even the older rooms are retrofitting because the Light-Systems move in to your location. They'll take your old lighting out and put the new lighting in, which... Uh, it's going to save you electricity in the long run. Plus, it's going to save you bulbs and ballast. There is no more replacing that. It's guaranteed for like 10 years, and it's 10 times brighter. There is no shadowing. It's light-systems.com. systems.com also go over to Facebook uh, they do have a Facebook page also it's light hype and system a uh, light systems Inc on Facebook 
uh, we want to thank Mr. John Barton of jbcases.com. We want to. We we do want to be the best case maker that we can be, and hopefully that translates, you know, into the best cases that are available for people. I can't bring myself to deliberately make something bad. Like I can't. When I what I mean by that is is that I I can't sacrifice quality on purpose. Um, I've always been that way. It's really hard for me to make a decision to build something that I know will break in a certain amount of time. I want to make it where it never breaks. Obviously, we have cases that break, we have things that have, and this goes back to our continuous improvement, right? But by seeing what breaks and then figuring out how to, how to solve that where it's even more durable, we hope that eventually, you know, we make a case that, that can pretty much hold up to anything and stand the test of time. Let JV Cases build you a true custom case with a lifetime warranty. To get the protection your Q deserves and to design your desire, visit jvcases.com. jvcases.com. We also want to thank Lights Out Billiards Apparel, Jake Lawson on board with AZB TV, and uh, I'll tell you what, I've seen some really unique uh, billiards apparel two weeks ago when I was in Jersey, uh, actually a, a jacket that lights up like, I don't know, like the seams. Jake comes out with some unique designs. I suggest you go over and uh, light, uh, lights out billiards apparel and uh, take a look at the website. Shop lights out. Billiards.com. Uh, that's that's where you'll find their store. Uh, there's also I got a message uh, from Jake. Uh, he's very generous here. I'm trying to. I know there's a promo code. I just want to make sure I don't tell you guys the wrong one. Uh, you get 15% off. You mentioned Turning Stone 15, which stands for 15% off, uh, courtesy of Upstate Owl, is what Jake said. But it's really courtesy of. Uh, Jake Lawson lights out Billy's apparel. Uh, he's stepping up to the plate in a big way. Uh, we want to thank Simonis, the main sp sponsor with Upstate Al and AZB TV uh, on board, and the X1 cleaner. Introducing the patented Simonis X1 chalk dust removal tool. In order to keep billiard cloth playing like new, it needs efficient cleaning. With that in mind, Simonis devised and developed a totally innovative accessory, the Simonis X1. Now, you don't need a brush that pushes chalk dust around the table or into the weave, or a vacuum that can stretch and damage cloth if used improperly. The Simonis X1 quickly and quietly extracts chalk dust from the cloth and retains chalk particles in its revolutionary high-tech structure. How? The Simonis X1 works using static electricity and capillary action. Apply light pressure and use a rapid back and forth motion instead of the exaggerated pressure which is needed with a brush. The X1 gets the job done quickly, quietly, and efficiently. After cleaning the table and cushions, you can use the Simonis X1 to delicately brush the playing surface in parallel lines in order to give the cloth a well-kept and groomed appearance. The high-tech textile structure of the Simonis X1 possesses a high absorption capacity and can easily retain the dust of half a cube of chalk. That's a lot of chalk. Cleaning the Simonis X1 is easy. You can release the dust absorbed by the high-tech textile structure to restore its initial effectiveness. To do this, you can vacuum the face of the Simonis X1 or simply beat or slap the underside of the Simonis X1 with your hand to release the dust. It's as simple as that. 
Thank you. We hope you enjoy the revolutionary new Simonis X1. The Simonis X1. We want to thank uh, Josh Hughes, uh, Mike Zuglin's uh, main sponsor. Been sponsoring Mike Zuglin for many years. Thank you to Josh Hughes. Kamui Tips, folks, go right over there, and uh, you can purchase your Kamui products right at KamuiTips.com, uh, courtesy of John Bertone and family. Lights Out Billiards Apparel. JB Cases. Mr. Thomas Grimaldi, uh, building custom game rooms in your household. Or if you're going to open a commercial establishment, these guys have everything under the sun. They sell tables. They service them. They build custom bars. They do it all. Four generations in the business. T. Grimaldi Billiards dot com. Or, and also search out Thomas Grimaldi on Facebook and take a look at a lot of the finished work that they've done already through the years. It's really exquisite. Billiard Products Reviews. This is an uh, independent company, nonprofit. They purchase uh, billiard products and they put them through test. It's honest, unbiased reviews of all things billiards, courtesy of Steve Sherman, uh, to inform and educate. I'll tell you what, it's pretty intriguing. Go over to billiardproductreviews.com. There's your light hyphen systems. Make sure to go over there and uh, get your LED lighting. Uh, they're installing them across the world. Mr. Greg Antonakis, American Q Pickers. Uh, get your Southwest from the best. It's his motto, but now he just reinsured me, like he does, uh, that he happens to have some other custom cues to fit your budget. Contact Greg at ga9ball at gmail.com. Or simply go to Facebook and search his name out, just like you see it. Uh, he always has something cooking. Uh, we want to thank Greg Antonakis. We also want to say happy birthday to Melanie, Greg's wife. From Baltimore City Cues, they're here on location. They have a big booth right at the front of the arena as you walk in the front door. Stop by and say hi to Peg and uh, Jay. Tell them we sent you over there. And uh, I'm sure they'll do the right thing. I, they, these people are just golden in everybody's book thekingsofvapor.com for all your vaping needs. Mr. Mike Burton, uh, he's got a, a booth set up, and he's got an array of uh, Josh Q's, uh, really, to drool over. But uh, if he doesn't have something that you want, if you do come here and look into his booth, uh, make sure that you tell him we sent you, and uh, he will do his best to get the Q that you want if you want a particular Josh Q. He's the go-to man right there. Mr. Mike Burton, mbqs.com. And, of course, we are playing on the best cloth in the world, and we are rolling with the best balls, which are Simona's cloth and Aramith balls. Mike Zuglin's on his way down. We're going to pipe, pipe his audio into uh, our broadcast so that you guys can pick up on the introductions. We're standing by here. You're going to listen to Mike Zuglin. How many times I heard that? a boy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a regular down here at Turning Stone. He plays out of Amazing Billiards up there in Malden, Massachusetts, up by Boston. He's the founder of Planet Pool on Facebook. Check it out. Rich Connors, his opponent. No stranger here at uh, Turning Stone, but it's been a while since he's been here. And he's no stranger to our tour. He has a lot of high finishes. He's sponsored by Lights Out Billiard Apparel and Wi Wild Eyes Creations, Mike Fingers Bed Stubner. All right. And by the who had a recent third place finish in the world championship, by the way. <laughs> Down here on table number six from Silver Creek, New York, playing out of Bison Billiards in Buffalo. He's one of our regular players on the tour, Nick Coppola and his opponent. Not one of our regular players on the tour. His first time here at Turning Stone. He plays out of Rack's Pool Room in West Hempstead. That's our friend Holden Chin's pool room. We'll be there May 4th and 5th. Come, so come down and see us from Elmont, New York, Matt Haracharin. All right. Table seven from Montreal, multiple winner on our tour. Not used to seeing him in the one loss side, but uh, don't ever count him out. He's won a countless number of our tournaments. He's a former Trump 10 ball champion, Danny Hewitt, and his opponent, first time playing here at Turning Stone. He plays out of East Ridge Billiards in Rochester. He's from Webster, New York, Nabil Lazuzzi. All right. Okay, now here we got the Canadian matchup. Now, you guys know each other? No. Oh, okay. This ought to be good. 
<laughs> All right. Live stream, azbilliards.com, Facebook, check it out. Upstate Al in the box over there with uh, who we got? Joey Leon and Joe Collin. All right. I can't see. I can't see. I can read. <laughs> All right. From Sherbrooke, Quebec, first up, 2018. We're second in the 2018 Quebec Provincial Tournament. Sponsored by Vintage Pro Shop, his own business, Eric Cruteau, and his opponent. This gentleman's been coming around here for a while now, and uh, he's one of our regular players. He's an eight-time Quebec eight-ball team champion, as well as two-time eight-ball team championship captain in, um, up there in Ottawa. He plays out of Minnesota Pool and Darts in Ottawa. Dale Kimmett. All right, good luck, gentlemen. All right, we'll move over to the other side, table number nine. All right. Folks, we're going to mute Mike Zuglin's uh, piped in audio because the players do have uh, the option to start the match as he continues his introductions. Uh, you got Dale Kimmett and, and em, uh, Dale Kimmett and Eric Crutu. Eric is on your right side. Who's going to win the lag? We got Joe Collins uh, in the booth with us. Welcome back, Joe. Oh. Well, now we're on. Yeah. Now we got it. I got you. Looks like all candidates to shoot out here on the live stream. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, we do have a lot of Canadian folks up in Canada because uh, it's so close, you know, right. and, and a lot of their uh, players up there come down here to participate. So. Uh, we'd like to get everybody on the live stream if we could. Yeah. Uh, we're actually trying to work on uh, getting a certain piece of equipment that would allow us to stream more tables to give you guys the option to say, hey, I want to watch this instead of that, you know, and you can just watch anyone you want. But it's going to take some time. It's uh, close to 6,000 just for uh, one piece of equipment. And uh, it, it's tough. Believe me, it's tough when you Anyway, here we go. Something about the uh, the rack the here. Not right. I, I see there's going to be a problem here. Well, yeah, you know, they they're just talking about uh, straightening things out. I believe you wouldn't understand them anyway because they're probably speaking in uh, yeah, French right. Canadian. Looks like uh, somebody says they're watching from uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Welcome aboard. Oh, looks like he's going to accept that rack and break them up. Looks like Eric's going to attempt to make this uh, three ball, but he hit him kind of soft. Soft, yeah. Ooh, that, that causes yeah. a little bit of traffic. Good thing the four ball is actually wired uh, off of the eight. That looked like a slug to me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the three, five, and eight balls are uh, a little tight. Yeah, but uh, looks like uh, that four ball will go. I mean, the four, that's what I meant to say. Looking at that three ball combination here. Yeah. But the way it looks, it's going to squirt that four ball out against the bottom rail. It's not very slow speed. It might go in. Yeah, there's four things you got to take into consideration. Yeah. The four balls that you're playing with right here. He'll barely hit that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you got to know where that cue ball, yeah. the three ball's going, and the four ball. He's stuck now. Yeah. 
Yeah. It takes a little while uh, yeah. to uh, take a look at it and find out what direction they're going to be heading in. You can see a piece of it. Maybe not. Mike Zuglin uh, in the background uh, thanking Mr. Phil Capel. Uh, Mike Zuglin's got the books, Phil Capel books right here. Talk about knowledge. Uh, you can purchase yours right here at the Turning Stone, like 20% off. Uh, great books. wonder if he's going to play behind the nine long. Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh, little short. Little short. Eric need a little more speed on there. He can he can take a bank at this in the upper right hand corner, mm -hmm. and that nine ball is real big. If you know he leaves the cue ball in this vicinity on the left side table, but he's got to watch his speed. Gives him a couple options anyway. Yeah, he's got to watch his speed here. Sort of like playing one pocket, and your pocket's the upper right. Just hit it with enough speed to reach the pocket there, unless he's really confident. He's going to look like he's, he's going to cut that ball in. Well, good luck. Good try. He gave a good effort. He might not like this. Oh, maybe he will. I don't think he's going to like his next shot. No, because he's going to send that down the table. Yeah, he's going to send that cue ball way up table. Right next to that upper short rail there is where the cue ball is going. But you want to feather the eight. If you hit the eight too thick, uh, you open up a shot on the eight towards uh, the corner. You better make yeah. sure you hide the rock then. He's gonna play, he sends cue ball back up the table. Watch. Oh, he's, he's just going to play rail to rail safe. That's all he's going to do. Oh, he didn't hit uh, it enough. No, not enough. Nowhere near enough. Just a makeable shot here, especially uh, after he's cut the last one. Uh, this one should look like a hanger, right? He's going for it, so. That's in. Yeah. Uh, ain't got enough speed on it. It's. Nope. There it is, folks. Dale draws first blood. Eric. Uh oh, oh, oh. No, that was Dale won that. Right? Dale won it. The guy with the hat? Yeah. Yeah, that's Dale. The guy with the hat. <laughs> the old against the new. Uh, I'm not getting in there.
Dell comes up dry, break, leaves him a shot on the one. Mm. Wow. That's huge. Let's put them two up. Gotta watch the scratch here. Looks like he's playing the nine ball. And there you have it, folks. Oh, oh, that changed. Lord. Big hole down here, big hole. I want to say thank you to uh, Jared Arasamina, the jazz man, for your donation. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to uh, John Burroughs. Thank you so much for your gracious donation. Uh, also, uh, Brian Carroll, kicking chicken. Uh, Thank you for your support and your gracious donation. Uh, James McGuire, uh, sending it in. Thank you for your donation. And also, Daniel Fortet Sr., uh, thank you so much, everybody, uh, one, for one. your continued support. 1-1 one, one in this match here. Um, I just want to thank everybody. I really appreciate it, honestly.
There we go. Two on a break and a scratch. Pretty straight on that. Wow. Wow. That was a big miss. That's okay. Yeah, I don't care. We were a way of friends. I could say whatever I want. No, I'm just letting you know. I heard no, no, no. I call them as I see them. All right, I'm keeping you company, Joe. Okay, good. What's good. up, buddy? None. We're just... Uh, we got 1-1? One, one? Yeah, 1-1 one, one here. Looks like these guys are having a little trouble, huh? Yeah, Eric had a little... Uh, he had a big miss there. Just come off the rail. Nothing special. Yeah, he missed that. Man. Wow, that was huge. Gave it right back. Troy's in the house. What's up, Troy? He missed. Oh, he did go. <laughs> Banked it in. Surprise, those yeah. tournament cut pockets are no oh, joke. Oh, yeah. He's got natural angle to get on the nine. A little bit of. Uh -huh. Whoa, don't want to come <laughs> off too far. Yeah, wow. Take the lead. There it is. Watch the corner up, pocket. The corner up there. Oh. Yeah, it like he's okay. Whoa. Yeah, he's Whoa. <laughs> wow. I thought it was going in. It was a little close. Yeah. He was sweating it. Especially with the new felt. Yeah. It's still rolling pretty fast. It's cooling here today. I think they had the air conditioning on. Really? It feels like it. My hands feel it. Yeah, it's like. It's 12 degrees outside, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Why not have the air conditioner on, though, right? <laughs> <clears throat> right. Doo -doo. To the break. There we go. Side One ball. ball in the pocket. Two Look, ball. Two balls rolling toward it. I don't think it's going to go, though. I think it might just spit off. Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, I can get him back down the table here easier. Well, he's got vision. Yeah. Speaking of vision, I'll be the proud owner of a new set of glasses here soon. Yeah, I should start wearing my specs. Wow. I, don't, I, I don't know, never wore glasses in my life. No? I was supposed to wear them ever since 18. Yeah. I just, since I had that little stroke back in 2012, it's just... Oh, God bless. Everything fuzzy, you know what I mean? Yeah. You find my wife... Banging on me for the last six months. <laughs> so. Telling you to get him, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. So I went. Went yesterday, as a matter of fact, before we, matter of fact, I went early yesterday so we could leave to come up here. See what he does. Yeah, this is, uh. I think 
the end. He tried to cut some balls in earlier. He might, well, he might bank us. Yep, it's in. But now he's kind of stuck. I know the score is 2-1. Yeah, it could be vice versa, but I don't uh, I don't think I'm wrong, Troy. No. Uh, oh. I could have yeah, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're wrong. Eric it's won the, the last other way one. around? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, Sorry. I don't know the gentleman's yeah. names. Yeah, Eric's the one with the, okay. without the hat. All right. Yeah. Good looking out. Quick to point out mistakes. Yes. Never give credit for achievements, though. No. <laughs> Sometimes. Well, Dale, well, he needs a referee here. We need a referee. Dale banked a three ball, didn't have a shot on the four, and tied him up here. So, I don't think he's going to go up the table and come back down and try to hit it, bump it enough, maybe play the eight. Looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah, it's if he can come off the rail first and hit it, he'll hit it. No, nah, he didn't even touch it. Oh wow, point got him. That's always ugly. Yeah. But Play the combination here. And you got to come two rails back to the other side. Hit a hole in that side pocket there. Okay, he's good. Long distance. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of green. Or blue. But if you're blue green colorblind, you wouldn't know the difference. Gotta watch the speed on this shot. It'll kick it right out of the pocket. Two one for Dale with the hat, not Eric. We'll find out right now. I was pretty sure I was right. Hat 2 1. We'll find out. Should be 3 1 right now. I thought I was right. 3 1 Dale? Yeah. All right, I was right. Okay. So half the chat room was right, and half of them were wrong. Main thing, I was right. Right, right, right. right. So that goes back to the credit. Looks thing. like he's cutting, breaking. Yeah. Back to yeah, the credit. Yeah. 
And he's dry. Look at a rock. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The mega ball. Oh, okay. I didn't I didn't see it fall. So he did make one. Nah, now my old man's receiving text. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Thanks, Joe. There, okay. Oh, can he see? Can he see the four? Uh, I don't think he can. Unless he goes rail first and spins it. Scary Mary. Yeah, that's... Uh, Scary Mary. That's... It's tough. He's going to have to spin it in there. Is he gonna tie that up or what's he gonna do here? He's going behind the five. Yeah, see? Yeah. Nice Put it right around there. Nice touch. Yeah. One rail back up. He hung. Oh, wow. He banked it right in. Now, there's a seven past the nine. No. Absolutely not. There's no way. Out of six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'll elect to go to the uh, other side. He ain't, it ain't going over there either. Uh, maybe it does. Can't really tell. <laughs> You've been wrong before. <laughs> It might if he slow rolls it here. Let's see. He's shooting it, so it must. Yeah. Wow. Nice. There you go. Let's put him up 4 1. It's huge. There you go, folks. 4 1. All Canadian matchup. You sure that's right, Joe? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Well, we just had a nice delivery of chili here in the booth. Upstate's taking a little break, eating some chili. And we'll eat ours in self-defense. All right. Put your vest on. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sing it, boy, George. That background This music's. is a B-side match, right, Joe? Yes. Yeah, so, so loser. 16 are going home. Yeah, somebody's going home. Well, unless they play for the second chance on uh, Sunday. Here we go for the break. Rocky's the gentleman who does that great photography, right? Mm-hmm. Artist. Excuse me, yeah, artist. Yeah, cartoonish stuff. No eyes on the one ball. No. Uh, this could jump. Or he liked to push. Yeah, he could push, but that's a <laughs> Everything's open. Yeah, it's wide open. Oh, he was going to push. Mm, yeah, that's, uh, what's he doing here? He Did he bump it? Oh, no, okay. He'll give it back to him. Uh, nope, he left him open. Still a tough shot. Yeah, he, he, uh, he, he, he left him open there. Hey everybody, how you doing? Good, how we doing? Good. We gotta see what's going on up this end of the table. Yeah, yeah, that's uh it's all Canadian match up here. Yeah, I see that. Dale's up four one. And he's back at the table. He gave it back to him. Okay. I think that's a smart move. Yeah, yeah, you don't have a whole lot to shoot at. Nope. No. Give it back to him. That's a tough ball to make yeah, and get position hard. back, you know. Yeah. He, he had to hit that real good. He would just come off one rail to the mm -hmm. middle of the table mm -hmm. here and play the three on the side. Well, he can even go forward and come across the yeah, table right. and come under yeah. it and play it up in this corner. Uh, I can't tell if that's the if where the four is behind the nine or is the four open. From the monitors. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's what he elected to do. Yeah. This must be the four over here between the seven and nine. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to try to come across the table, get to that second diamond. He banked it. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, that's didn't really gain him anything. No, but he uh, he might even play a carom shot here for the seven. Mm. <coughs> yeah, the only thing I see wrong with doing that is the cue ball is going down by yeah, the eight. Yeah, right. Exactly. You're gonna have a lot of a lot of travel. Oh, no, he played the he combination. Yeah, yeah, he went for it. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. Was the back yeah, cutting it. He didn't really leave him a whole lot. He can no, no. He got a, he got fortunate with the lead. Yeah. You know, I, I was just watching Danny Hewitt on the second table, and he uh, a lot of people cut break. I see him scratching in the side because yeah. the cue ball is coming short. Yeah, 
Kind of a two-way shot there. He yeah, and yeah. tied him up. Good hit. Yeah. Yeah. That's fifty yard line there. These diamonds play a little short on the rails too. Yeah. You you gotta hit them a l you gotta open it up a little bit. Yeah. I was um playing the banks on the on a diamond yesterday and you know where you think you're gonna hit it on a crown and you go to the diamonds it's oh they're yeah, coming they're short. Hold it so. in cushion too. It's a yep. uh, new cushion. Yep. Yeah. And they play good, they play fast, so you gotta you gotta be careful. He's gonna bank this in. That nah, six ball got him, and he might be okay here. Now nah, he can see it. Mm, yeah, he's got a piece of it. You know, from this monitor, it doesn't look like it, but I think he can get through there. Yeah, our angles and their angles is totally different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you try wide to open, yeah. Yeah, you try to tell what they're doing from the monitor, and it's right. not the same as watching the table live, you know, standing there looking at the table. So he's got the five. Yeah, he's got to get back to the rail. Yeah. He's got to watch that side pocket over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that pocket gets big. Yeah, hit that good. Hit that nice. Back in line. And he'll draw it back for that seven. And have enough time to get back down for the eight. Yeah, he'll go two cushions. He might come right mm, up the center yeah, of the table, actually. Say, he might just yep. come up and down with that. Yep. That's what it looks like. Yep. A little natural. He was afraid to hit it. Yeah. You know, they, they get away from you quick. Oh, yeah, these, this. We were talking about it earlier, the, the speed. Hasn't yeah. really slowed down a whole lot. Yeah, he's good. Now, you know, I noticed today that the um, balls that were falling in pockets yesterday are. Oh yeah. They're they're hanging up oh, today. Yeah. The pockets are tightening up. They've they've had they've hung three of them in these mm. on the shelf yep. and yep. you know past the points is amazing. Yep. And there we have it. Four two. It was one ball. One ball I hit earlier today, and I swear it was going in that pocket, and it just stopped and hung there. I'm like, all right. You know, but it was I, I fall I was looking I'm like that's going in and it just and it didn't but yeah Frankie so. Hernandez is match he, they hung a couple and yep. I mean they were way deep yeah the three ball was in the far corner it was you couldn't even see it he just <laughs> hit a center ball and drew it back out just because just he knew he, if he hit that rail he good yeah, chance he, he wasn't going to hit it yeah he could miss it he yeah. could miss the whole ball yep yeah that was a good match between him and Martin. But I, I'll I'll take Frankie in that match. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, uh. yeah, yeah, dry break and left him shot there. So eh, he's got the two yeah. ball tied up a little bit. I don't know. See, that's the thing from this angle on the monitor. Right, yeah. It looks like it's tied up, but I bet that ball goes. Yeah, it might, it might go right by it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Looks like he's going to come up behind the two, play the two in the side pocket. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go in the corner. So yeah, he was it from this angle from the camera. He's spot on. He hit it good. He's right on. He's right in line with it. going to have to get this ball back out to the middle of the table to draw back or to get back on that five. 
So he, he's going to, he's got an angle to go forward with it. We'll see what he likes, what he's comfortable with. Because he can either go forward with the three ball, which I think would be what I would do. Yeah. He's queuing low on it, Paul. No, he's going forward. A little bit of bottom. Yeah, he hit that good. I was looking at going forward with it, but I think he had better control doing that. I'll go one rail across the table, about the center of the rail. And he didn't hit it. He didn't get under it. <coughs> hey, Bill, how are you, my friend? Good, good. Hey, what do we got here, Bill? 4-2, Dale Kimmett over uh, yep. Eric Crow 2. Uh, both Canadian players. Yeah, he didn't He didn't get under this one. I wonder if he's going to try to... He's just going to put the 5 on the other rail, put the cue behind the 7, I think. Could, or he could you try to use the 7. No, I watched the he's way he was... He's trying to use the 7. He's trying to pinch it right there. He yeah, did it, too. I, I was watching the, how he was cueing up the ball. I'm like, yeah, he's oh. going to just put that cue right behind the 7. Let him kick at it. Yeah. Because he didn't he didn't get under the four enough to get down to that center diamond on that side rail to get on that five. Now if Eric can see now he could. He's nice seen shot. the whole ball. Yeah, he had a good wow. shot. Wow. I didn't think he could see the whole thing. Folks, you uh you are watching the Turning Stone Classic 31. We're at the Turning Stone Casino and, and uh, Resort in Verona, New York. Bill Cody in the booth. Mm. Alongside upstate Al right now as Joe Collins takes his break. Yeah. Uh, you're watching uh Dale Kimmett, who's the gentleman with the hat at the table. Uh, it's a race to nine. He's playing Eric Crotu. Yeah, geez, the way he fired that five in, he, he stood up on that six ball. He didn't, he just kind of just hit it. So. Dale's going to play safe. Looks like he's playing safe behind the nine. I don't think he's shooting that. Looks like he's hitting the right side of it. Nice shot, nice shot. You now I was just talking about these diamond tables when they're banking, playing short. Yeah, they do. So I wonder how he's going to open. If you know, if he un if he understand if he, this guy knows that, and he's going to open that ball up a little bit. Well, he's left the cake on board. Yeah, yeah, he left. He, he hit it good, but he left this. He left it open. Once again, folks, I want to thank uh, Jared Arasamina, the jazz man, uh, for his donation. Uh, John Burroughs, thank you so much uh, for your donation. Of course, kicking chicken, Brian Carroll. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, James McGuire, again, uh, thank you so much. And uh, Daniel Parent Sr., thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Uh -oh. Dale, pl Dale plays pretty good, but he plays a little conservative. You know, he didn't try to get up on that eight ball right. He just took a, you know, took the shot on the seven, got over there, so he's got a nice shot on the eight. Yeah, but just you know, that, whatever it takes. You know what I mean? You, the less movement, yep. the better off you are. Mm. You know, if you can line up your shot, the less movement of that cue ball, yep. the less chances you are to get in any kind of issues and just run out and make it look easy. And Dale does. Yep. He gets out in this one here. It's 5-2. We're racing to nine. Two Canada players, uh, uh, two players out of Canada. We want to say hello to the Canadian folks up there in Canada. They're always nice to us. Appreciate you guys. 
Um, oh, as I'm talking about that, um, somebody sent me a donation yesterday uh, from Canada. I do not know how to accept it. Uh, I hope that you can. I was talking to one of the. Uh, his name is Robert. Robert Johnson. Rob, if you're listening in, I don't know how you. Uh, to to send it back. I, I just don't know what that's all about, how you sent it. I, I really appreciate it, uh, but uh, I want to see you get it back. Uh, a couple of the Canadian guys that hang out with us here said, don't worry, Al, just don't accept it, and it automatically gets refunded back to them. But I just want to give you the heads up. It's not that I'm trying to be uh, like like we don't want your help. I do appreciate it. I just don't know how to go about getting that what you sent me, I, I really don't. I, I got so much to do, but I do appreciate it, Rob. All right, so a bright dry break. He gets the cue ball over by the six ball. He should have no problem getting to the three from there. Unless he does that. Yeah, he got lucky. Even that, even if he made it, he didn't have a shot on the two. I think he's blocked by the nine in there. them open. Yeah, I left them straight in too, so I'm gonna have to miss that seven looks like the seven. He's gonna miss the seven ball to get by there right, he did. Right, he's still in trouble. He still hit that nine. <laughs> well now it's safety time. Yeah, a little uh, tuck and weave. Ooh, he didn't get escape. He didn't get the escape from nah, the eight out of six. I mean, he was going right into that <laughs> six ball. It was, that was going to be tough to try to freeze it and miss the six ball. And yeah, he's got the angle. Uh, mm hmm To put him right back there. Yeah. I, I believe uh, Dale has enough of this two ball. Now, if he doesn't. He can go to the rail first, hit mm -hmm. the lower part of the two, and the cue ball deflects back towards the nine, yep. sending the two ball up table behind the six. And I think that's what he's looking for. Well, he's looking to kick it in towards the side pocket. Yeah, kicking and taking a wing at it's not too bad. The three ball's there. If he hits the, t the, s the side of the three, it goes possibly into the side pocket. Right. Well, being this close to the rails, too, he can control the cue ball, too. See, I like hitting it under like that. Send the cue ball back towards the nine. A little bit harder would have been okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think he hit that a little thinner than he wanted to. He wanted to send the two down table. He hit that a little thinner than I he, think he was expecting. Yeah, he could have hit it thicker and still sent the cube by the nine. Right. You know, but yep. that wasn't a bad shot right there. I mean, a little bit harder than that. Notice the distance to get to the nine ball with the cube. Right. And notice the distance of the two getting past the six. Yep. Would have been perfect. It would have yeah. just laid real nice. Yeah, you got two blockers there, so. Yep, that wasn't bad. Okay, where are we? We got uh, Joe Collins uh, uh, back in the booth with us. The union said that's enough of your break time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got my 15 minutes. Yep. Well, if you don't come to Turnerstone for anything else, come for the chili. <laughs> yeah. Might pay for it later, but it's good. Yep. No, it's it's really good chili. Upstate went up there and got everybody chili down here in the booth. Sorry, Bill, you weren't here at the time. No, that's all right. We just had lunch, so that was oh, okay. uh, thank you. And not bad for four dollars. They give you like this big container of chili. It's really nice. We mm -hmm. know we know Bill will be at the Motif later, so yep, uh, absolutely, <clears throat> we'll get our, uh, you know, have a couple little. That's a uh, Turning Stone ritual. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Dale's got uh, his map now planned out in his head and. Uh, 
He's about to attack the table. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Trying yeah. to play a little chess yeah. game uh -huh. over here. <laughs> and I think uh, Dale yeah. might come out on the bad end of this chess match. Yeah. Check. Check. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what he was trying to do. I thought he was trying to put the two on the, the opposite side cushion. He'll play the three ball here. Mm. No, no, he's not playing no. the three. Oh, you mean for a safety? Yeah, I think he'll play uh, the yeah, I'm saying he might run the two up and then put the cue ball behind the three. No, no yeah. I'm thinking this the one. The eight ball. No, there yeah. you go. He moved it. Uh, no good. Man, it's another he check. Can, he can see it. Yeah. He's just moving the pawns. I can see it. Oh, he's uh, got a whole know, ball. He's going to have to bank it across the table uh, and play a safety again. Yeah. Watch, him, watch him fire his two ball around the table. Watch. <laughs> I'm going to stick that combination. <laughs> want to say hello to Allison Fisher. Jake know. Lawson coming back in. Mike Panzarella. You never know. Well, if you try to send the cue ball up behind the 5-9 and get up table here, that's a lot of traffic to try to get through. Yeah, he's, good. he's conservative behind. Yep. No, that was a good yeah, shot. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, I, like, I like that plan. Simple. He didn't He didn't get it there, but it was, no, it was uh, a yeah. simple. He knew what he wanted to do, just yeah. didn't make it. That's all. Yeah. yeah he's, he's, that's a good shot there. Hey, that's a hole. Yeah. He left a piece yeah, of it. That's a piece of it anyway. Yeah. Next match coming up is going to be Dennis Grabe. He's going to be playing Sean Wilkie. Uh, that's scheduled for the uh, 4 o'clock round. And that'll be a barn burner, don't, I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah, don't miss that one. Hmm. You know, there was there was a time. Uh, it might be quick. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh oh he's going to give his nine ball a ride. There was a time uh, when many years ago when Sean was – Probably in his 20s. Um, and I used to make a lot of money with him down at Super Billiards Expo when he was oh, yeah. at the table, you know, challenge unknown. table. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't really unknown. Yeah, oh. uh, <laughs> but, you know, you always had different crowds coming in. I've had him in the Calcutta a couple of times. And then on the other side of the plate with Dennis Grabe, uh, Dennis Grabe. Oh, nice uh, shot. Ah, wow. There was, a, there was a huge player's auction going on at uh, yeah. Steinway. And uh, John, the table mechanic, friend of mine for like 40 years, uh, Krolinski, yeah. I said, John, we want this guy. <laughs> and we got him. <laughs> he was a sleeper at that time. Yeah. He didn't and, go for, uh, oh, wow. He, he came in like, nice I think shot. he came in like fourth place or third place. So two good shooters coming up uh, right. at the 4 o'clock round. You know, he just made a nice shot yeah, off the on that three himself. ball and he, no reward. Yeah, that's, uh, he spun it right off the rail. That was a good shot. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was going a little high on it, but I'm like, no, he hit it, he, he hit it clean. And oh, one, yeah. of, one of them are sponsored by Lights Out Billiards Apparel. Dot com. <laughs> and that'll be Sean Wilkie. He was actually played in a tournament at Brews and Cues in Pasadena, Maryland the other day. Mm -hmm. Last week it was, I guess. Want to say hello to Dave uh, Pinkston, uh, the owner of Gallery Billiards in uh, Newburgh, New York. Yeah, he left, he left them a wide open table, no problems. So Dale should, uh, I'll take Dale in this one. He'll, he should run this out without uh, any, any issues. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing in trouble. Everything no. is off the rail by about four inches. So it's, it's been a conservative game. Just yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm. But, you know, at this point, with him, he should. Slow and steady. And Eric's three three games in the hole, so he's uh, he don't want to try something crazy. Now he went to Massey that ball and mm -hmm. he opened it. He he, instead, he opened. He put the six ball in a good position and yeah. knocked the five down. Whereas you know now it's just a tap. You could see uh, Tom Achjabedi, I think if that's how it's pronounced, in the the table right behind this one. Mm -hmm. uh, really came in uh, place somewhere. I think it was in Steinway or in Racks. He finished high. Huh. Yeah, he's such a natural player. Yeah. We had him on stream here last August, right here at the Turning Stone. You gotta get off the nine. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's all right. 
There's quite a few places around. You, some of the older folks that play pool, and they, they still got a lot of game in them. So it's. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is one of those sports. As long as your eyes are okay and you yeah, can walk good. around, right. uh, this is one of those sports you can play. It's not like football. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've seen some good players in wheelchairs. <laughs> 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 oh, he hung it. Wow. Thanks, Bill, for that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the commentator curse. That's right. Uh, well, we'll blame it on him anyway. He's <laughs> first time in here. That's right. The new, the new guy. The new guy. Yeah. Give the new guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, you just got to walk the walk here. It's a stop shot, and he should be good. The stream coming up. I believe the owner of the pool room is here. Uh, Ooh, we almost yeah. missed it. Yeah, almost didn't go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, well, East, yep. East Ridge Billiards. Uh, Josh tour stop uh, February 24th through the 25th. I got to speak to Christopher. He's here. The there you have it, folks. 5-3. Folks, there's a lot of pool. Uh, coming your way uh, from the Turning Stone Classic. And if you can make it here on premises uh, this weekend, if it's feasible for you, I would uh, urge you to come here. Uh, this is probably the best venue uh, to witness uh, a pool tournament. It's right here at the Turning Stone. You can literally sit within feet of the tables. My man, watch. Ryan Lionham. What's up there, brother? What's up, Ryan? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bill. And... Uh, Joe, I just passed this chat over to you. I, I totally was hogging the chat in front of me. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how do I stop this thing from playing? Yeah, well, just I go back this way. I couldn't tell you. That's the way you want to put on senior citizen mode for Bill so he can see it. Oh, got it. There you, there, there you go. Yeah. Ryan's that uh, that race car driver that you like from up there. Yeah. You come up to Snookers. Uh huh. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, he's been he's been tearing up the track too. He's been he's, he's good at everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Ryan. He's a great guy. Ouch. A scratch to boot. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. These tables are tough to put that. He he put some English on that to come down down table, and he just didn't hit either. He didn't yeah. hit it straight, or the English just screwed him up. Because he didn't hit that ball good at all. Ryan McCreesh, I have no idea. Uh, right. Right, if Cutler uh, posted that, it's very well that he did get beat. I heard, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. Ryan was playing down. Was that Ryan playing earlier? No, Ryan's not no, here. No, Ryan's not here. Oh, hmm. no, I was, never mind. I'm, I'm thinking of Josh Freeberger. You going rail first on this one? No. Mm, left him open. Left yeah. him a shot. Yeah, you just. Geez, you know, it looks like this angle. It looks like he's got the whole ball. 
but he's looking at it close yeah, like it's he's kind of tough. Al can change the thing a little bit if you had to, but it's yeah, he's different camera angle. I could yeah. be able to see it, but I think he's got it. And now he's blocking away there. You can't really. He, I think he can see a piece of it. No, I think he got the yeah, whole ball. Got, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say it, it looks like it was a little, a little close, but yeah. he had a yeah exactly. He had to spin it. Yeah. Don't hit that. Mm. Eh, he tied yeah, the ball up. Yeah, yeah he didn't want to touch. Tough. He was trying to be careful not to touch yeah. that at all, but he still hit it. He's in. He's in. Make the ball mode. You know what I mean? It's pocket the ball. And worry about it later. I don't know if he tied that seven up. It, I don't know if he can make that yeah, seven. Yeah, it's, it's right on the nine ball. I'm looking over the wall here. It's right on it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Even if he catches that, that seven full, I bet it's a rattle. Maybe. No, he might be no. able to make that. Um, it's, you know? He had to call a referee in to see that because I'm telling you, that thing is right on it. That's what he's looking at. He wants to keep the cue ball on the rail so he can spin out. Yeah. He's got to go three cushion to get back, well, two anyway, to go back to the nine. And even then, it could hit Inside. just before the pocket. That's yes. right. It's yep. It all, it's all in the angle. Yeah, that's what, what I was here. looking at. Is you know, it's an easy ball to overcut. Uh, he's he's got it. I think he's got. Yeah, he's got a whole shot here. Um, it's it's hard to say. Yep. Well, we'll find out right now. See that one inside to come down? Yeah, see, that's, I mean, look how it's. Yeah, I know. He's it. got a piece of it. I'm telling you, he might hit the inside of that corner there. That, yep, yeah, that's what I, it, yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting yeah. to happen. And, ooh. <laughs> I yeah. thought he hooked him there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy would be sick. Oh. But even that, to get back on the mm -hmm. nine, that's no, that isn't no, no easy. With the, he's got to go come back yeah. and cross. Yeah, it's the cue ball is going to slide. He's gonna lose. He's gonna lose the English on the cue yeah. ball because of the yeah, clock. It'll kill the spin right off of it. Yeah. He's, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 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 He's gonna play safe. He's gonna have to either. He, unless he likes the bank, he can always put the cue on the top cushion, and the nine on this cushion. He's banking it. No, he's, he's playing, playing safe. safe. Well, he. Uh, he hit that way too hard. Wow. Yep. Nah, he he's not liking that. this one. Nah, he, he, he knows he gave that away. These tables are tough to get used to the oh, speed, yeah. for yeah, sure. So. You know. He almost missed that. Yeah, it almost double kissed it out of the pocket. Yeah, he almost missed that. That's what I was saying. That was Dale, Joe. Yeah. That's what I was saying. These pockets, they're getting a little tighter there. That ball, if he had any type of a little bit more speed on that nine ball, yeah, that, that would have not yeah. have gone in. He 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 double kisses, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing tight. All right, so what's that? Six three now, with Dale. Ouch! What was that? Good thing for that nine ball. Yeah, yeah. He had that eight ball. That cue ball was going down. You, you know, you know what the next shot is, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try to lock him up on that seven. Yeah, you know what? You know what the next shot is. <laughs> now he's gonna play safe. I don't think he's pushing. No, nah, he's. I don't know, what's he up? He's up three games, so he. No, nah, he's, I bet he'll, I, with Dale, I think he's, he's going to slow a little. Deep. He's going to push. He's pushing out. He's pushing out. 
want to say thank you to Cliff for your uh, donation. Thank you, Cliff. Appreciate it. Just a little funny angle here, huh? Yeah. Well, he's got the seven to stop the cue ball. He's just got to make the ball. But it ain't, it's not an easy shot. I don't know how much every, you know, if he hits the seven ball and stops the cue, he's got a shot on the two. Right. Well, turned it back over. Yeah. Being down 6-3, I might do the same thing. Right, instead of being aggressive. And that's uh, good discipline right there. Mm. I feel like a seagull who just ate an Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> that chili. Whew. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That yeah. one, that's a bit a, a bowl that stays with you all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, see, when Al eats it, you have to eat it in the self-defense. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to try to tie the cue ball up with a six ball, maybe. No, he's no, he went for it. He went for it. And that's not a bad little shot he played no. right there. He played that one off the six on purpose right. to keep it in the middle there. Yeah, he's at the 50-yard line, so it's... Uh, What's he do? Bang it back down the table. Hide the, or try to hide the cue behind the seven ball up in the corner there. At this point, being three down, he's yeah, he's got to do something. Right, he's got to. He hadn't really caught a gear here, so no. Nope. Hey, that's what he's doing. That's a conservative shot. Mouse trap. Yep. Now uh, Dale being up six three. He's going to take a flyer at this. Sure he's, going to, he's going to try to straighten this bank out. Uh, I think he, I don't think so. I think he's going to play safe. I think he's going to put the one on the top rail, two cushions. You've been watching the, him, huh, Billy? I, I don't know the gentleman. Uh, yeah. But the way you're talking, you know his game already. Uh, I think uh, he's banking he's, it. He, he, he's, got to, he's got to straighten it out, though. He's got to hit it hard. Yeah. He's going to bank it. Yeah. So he seems more like a yeah, he's like swinging he's at it. safe. Yeah. He's swinging at it. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. And it's in. Nice yeah, shot. No. Yeah, six three. You take a flyer, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, still he's on that's the what wrong. I know. He's on the wrong <laughs> side of this two ball. He would like to be a little bit further to the right side of the two. Right. Uh, so he can just yeah. slide over for the three in the same. A shot like that, you know your opponent. He's not. He's not running away with nothing. So it's like, hey. Well, no. This is the key right here. This is key shot. Right. Yeah. For the game. Well, he's got to. Right. He's either got to draw. He got to. Play it in, draw back a little bit, or roll through it a little bit, and then play the three up in the other end. But he does, you know, Dale doesn't hit the ball. He's, he's hitting it high, so hard. He's, he's rolling it through. Yeah, he's, he's, hitting high, he's hitting high center there, so it's. He's got to spin it. He's. Yeah. Yeah, he's he, very conservative. Well, if the banks were open uh, two minutes ago, he might be yeah, able to catch yeah, it before it closes. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I, I didn't see him. Shooting that sick, that two ball hard, missing the nine ball, and getting the cue ball back down right. below. Yeah, the you three. really had to force it. Right. You, know, you would have to force it with a lot of spin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And forcing balls into the diamond pocket. Just don't kick it. it. Or the nope. double shim, right? I mean, if if you're Shane Van Boning, the way yeah. he fires the uh, balls right up the rails, even well, when they're on the cushion. Sure. Shane's then you a got a shot story. to do it. Yeah. But, but even on a shot like that, it doesn't yeah. have to work. No, no. Shane, Shane, I would expect that shot. And we're going to see this the guy. No. Shane is here. He's banking. He's banking. It. He's supposed to. He's banking it. No, mm -hmm. he. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just he played safe. Bill oh, Cody knows his customers. Good shot. Yeah. Good yeah. shot. Like I said, he's he's playing conservative. He's playing smart. Yeah, sure he is. Yeah, it's. Neither one are running away with it, so he's no. he's just taking it easy. Yeah. He wants to torture his opponent a little more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One feather at a time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Plucking a chicken. Yeah. Poor so what do you do here? You you bring the you bring the three ball, two he's cushions. Gonna, yeah, he's going to plant. He, uh, I thought he was going to plant the three. He tried to cut that ball in the corner. Yeah, you don't go for that shot. No, he's, he, 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 I guess he figured he's trying something. It's he's down three. What's he, what's he got to lose, right? Well. That wasn't the ball to try He's to go at it. Neither one of neither one of them are running more than two or three balls at a time. So it's you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. you know, what's he? I think he has to back cut it into the bottom right hand corner here. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. He yeah, do. he's doing that. 
And, and then just come across the table. Yeah, and but keep the cue ball above the side right. pocket. Well, Don't you got to put a little draw well, on you gotta, it. Yeah, you you got to hit this. Well, he can go below it, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he wants to be on the side of it. Nice I mean, and easy. Cue ball below the side pocket on the left. Like, he can do that also if he wants A little to. finesse. Watch this. It's there in it a is. hole. Yep. There nice shot. Textbook shot. Yep. He hit that good. Looks like uh, Mr. Dale is trying to get to the yeah. hill here. And this, like this match has been pretty quick. Looks like the old dog's teaching the new dog new tricks. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting in that one. Oh, no, yeah. Well, you know, you know how it is. You call it like you see it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. There you go. This is his game to lose here now. I'm I telling like, you. I, yeah. I like to say experience. Is that what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little more yeah. experience. Oh, okay. Old dog. All right. <laughs> you gotta understand something. <laughs> Joe Collins calls it like it is. <laughs> oh, slow down. Oh, yeah. I just want to let you know, Dale, from Canada. That was Joe Collins that called the old dog. Right. <laughs> the guy with the blue Mullinary shirt on. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like Dale's gonna get to the hill. Yeah, he's. Boy, he jumped a little bit on that. Wow, he jumped up, didn't he? He, wow. the, he almost. He almost nipped it. <laughs> All right. It's uh, Dale uh, getting closer to the hill. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, gotta say, I didn't think that was a hill game. 7-3. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I yeah. apologize. Keep me in line, guys. No, so we're trying. We'll slap you around a little. It's, you know. I see Dwight in Whoa, the, in the chat. What did that come up? Sorry, guys. That's not the next match. <laughs> Sorry for that uh, graphic error there. We we left it in the broadcast. Eight ball on the Eight side. Eight ball on the sun. Yeah, he don't have a shot. No. Nope. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably push out to a little bit above the center of the table. Or over by the, nah, he can't yeah. put it, if he puts it by the six ball, but that leaves him a shot. If you'd hit that down table, hit the push out, leave the cue down there, let him bank, bank the one up here. You think he can see it? Yeah, he might have a whole ball. Yeah. yeah. Different it's camera angle yeah, might different tell Different camera that. angle, but if we can get the production guy here to, yeah, he can see it. Yeah. Yeah, he went for it. Sorry. Yeah, Ooh, wow. Lucky. What a roll. He's smiling. He looked over <laughs> the wall here and smiled at us. He, he heard us. <laughs> he, he smiled. Looks like a nightmare, ain't it? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, gentleman in the chat there, Vin, he's, he said it's a pretty conservative shot. It's just pocket balls. That's all they're worrying about. Yeah, this is uh, Eric hadn't had much luck here with uh, shots. Mm-hmm. He's, he's Dan's been leaving. Dale's been leaving him tough here, pretty. Uh, right. But you know, this you know, this guy doesn't. He seem might get to, away with this. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. seem to have a, a feel for the table speed. Nah, he's yeah. overhitting a lot of stuff, and it's easy. It's very easy to do. Yeah, when he was warming up, he was kind of. You could see him kind of feel the table out. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, there's a couple of safeties that he's gone to play that have just not worked out for him very well at all. And I think it, you know, like I said, it's easy. It's definitely easy to overplay these tables. And we've seen a number of shots missed mm -hmm. where, you know, just too much speed on it and it just yeah. kicks it right out of the corner. You know, some of them old runs with Grove Crown tables that had that flat face in them. Right. That ball hit the corner pocket, come right back, come right at back you. out. Yep. That 
got back up. It was on that line. Nothing hard. No. He's right there. He's combo shot here. Yep. Oh. He's got to hit that sort of a little bit of inside because yeah. if the, one, the two ball goes to the bottom Is cushion. He going to yeah, he's going yeah, to carry. He's carrying it. Yeah, he missed it. Yep. Yeah, it was a. Uh, well, he's. You know what? He was right. He hit it easy. Yeah. But it's. Yeah. It looks like that two goes by the seven all the way down. Yeah, it does. It's and it's a natural position on the three ball. Yeah. Yeah, it goes right past. He's looking. I'm looking right at it over the wall here. It's yeah. I think is that the four and the hanging in the pocket. Yeah. All right. So that's a position ball for the five. Oh, he hit it right into the seven. All right, Dale's got a nice yeah. shot in the side pocket here. Shot, he made it. So, so he gets the center of the table. Short hand. Tell you what, I like the layout here, Bill. Yeah, yep. that's uh, oh yeah, that's open road map, that's for sure. Yeah, put the cue ball back in the center, center of the table. table. Yeah, you kind of got everything. Six is a stop shot. If he yeah. can, if he's straight on it, he'll, he'll have a nice stop shot to the seven. Uh, he'll hit it. Wow. Yeah. Fit Boy, the yard you, guys, line. you guys just sound like the little rascals yeah. <laughs> in stereo. <laughs> we were doing good till you got back on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pay attention. <laughs> uh, these these guys are great. No worries here. He's got to cut this in. That's all. Yeah, He's got no. No, really no issue. Just make it. You're going to turn that ball yeah. loose, watch. No, it doesn't have to turn loose that Watch much. out for the scratch cross side. No scratch. Yeah. Now, this is his, his, his. He gave it away. His rack. He gave it yeah. away. Yeah. But, like we said, he he hasn't been running two balls. So. Well, this may make him feel better. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. He's going rail first. No, he yeah, he didn't hit. See, so he didn't yeah, hit that right. He hit that wrong, way wrong. Yeah, let, hit the left side of the five. Let the cue come up middle table. Yeah, he hit it opposite side of the ball. Yep, with inside it, he put inside yeah. spin on it. Mm -hmm. he and the it, tables he are sliding. It. Well, that, that's the problem is that once it made contact with the five yeah. ball, uh -oh. the ball. Oh, watch it. The ball slid on him. That's one of the only places on the table you don't want to be. Right. Yeah. And he'll send that two rails. Yep, the other one is behind the nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, and he knows it. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah, because that was a <laughs> that was a that was a, a gift. That was a gift that he just didn't capitalize on. Yeah, it was, that was his game, actually. Mm. All he really has to do is roll this, touch the seven, let the cue ball get to the rail right behind the seven, just leave it there. Close proximity. That's what he's going to yeah, do. Yeah, what's he going to do here? He's uh. Oh, he's going to try to draw it back behind a nine and yeah, make, leave and the seven down table. Uh, well, he didn't. Nope. He's going to leave him an angle on it, yeah. too. A little bit harder. He would have been on the short rail. He'd been mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the way he was doing that. I would have gone the other yeah. way, like Al was saying. Here, he's got. He's going to swing his stick now. He, you know, he's pretty conservative on that swing. Well, you don't want to swing too hard. No, you uh -huh. get that funny reaction no. off the cue ball. But he's he's got an angle on the seven to come one rail back up he's the side of the table. A little high and inside there. But I see what he's cueing it up at. He's got the hole over there. There's also a hole in the bottom left-hand corner pocket where uh, right. Dale wants to pocket this nine bowl and get to the hill. Yeah, yep. yeah, he did all right with that. Yeah. Dale Crocodile Dundee <laughs> Kimmett. Really? You had to go there? I don't know. I make up <laughs> names. You know, how do you know he has a knife? Crocodile Dundee has a knife. Yeah. There you go. Dale is on the go. hill. Dale's Eight got his climbing three. shoes on. That's right. He's got his climbing shoes on, that's for sure. Tommy Tokov, actually uh, in the back wings behind us. Tommy's here. <laughs> Don't shake the camera.
Dale came with it, didn't he? Dale has came with it. There we go, folks. Dale's on the hill for the break. Oh, wow, miscued. Miscued. Yep, the other guy's break. Yep. So it should be he re racks them, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got to re rack them and the other yeah. incoming players break. Yeah, he was uh he was trying to power drive and miscued. Whoa, 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 what you doing here? Oh, okay. Well see it was an illegal break because he didn't hit the one ball. I thought you would re rack them, but maybe that's not the rule. Yeah, I don't yeah. I'm not sure on that. What do you think about that, Al? Say again. He Dale Dale tried to miscued, power break it, miscued. Hit the back of the rack. Hit the Didn't back hit of the, the rack. one ball at all. Okay. Shouldn't it be a re-rack and this guy break? Well, a lot of play uh, tours play different uh, rules. Uh, sometimes you could let your opponent break and he's on one. He to do. He, he gave or that you away. break and he's not on one. Okay. So but, even, you know, some people play different. I mean, he took ball on him, but being an illegal break, and it certainly four balls didn't hit a should rail. Have re -racked. Yeah. It should have been a re-rack and the yeah. incoming player break. Yeah, but like I said, so many tours play different. Uh, yeah, I'll ask Mike that. That I, I'm sure that doesn't happen often, but at this point it did, and I don't know yeah, what the uh, the right answer is. I don't know. Either. Are you in the tournament, Bill? No, I'm out. I'm uh, I'm, I'm spectating. Oh, you were in it. He was oh, yeah. In it, yeah. Did you go to players' meeting? Yes, but I don't know. I so don't think they covered you, that. You used to sit in the front row too. You didn't pay attention. No, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't afford to pay attention. Right. I'm joking. Yeah, I know uh, they didn't go over it. No, I got to say, I'm sure that wasn't mentioned. Because again, it's not a common thing that happens. But right. at this point, it did. I'll find out though. We'll get it. We'll get it right. Yeah. Answer After that. this match, I'll ask Mike just uh, to, for curiosity. Too hard. No, he's not. Racker says, why is Dale stopping the cue ball without it coming to a complete stop? Yeah, you're right. Mm. I guess I guess the yellow guy doesn't say anything. That was good control. Yeah, yeah. Real good control. It kind of reminds me of a straight pull uh, stroke. Right. Yeah. You know, where he just wants to work yeah. within the vicinity Will of the rack. Going? Will he go into the stack here? No, right. he's on the wrong side of it. Yeah. No, he doesn't have to. He's playing inside. He's hitting it inside here. He wants so. to get on top and shoot the four in the same pocket. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Okay, now he now can go, go into, into it. it. Yeah. 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 He hit that good. Just that, that nine ball might even go off that six ball. It might. No. Nine ball goes, it counts. It's, he's going to whack it, watch it. No, he ain't either. No. Now he's got a nice opportunity yeah. to play safe or cut it in. I yeah. mean, I, it looks like from here, we got to go to straight on camera. Looks like it, it, a cuttable shot. Yeah, it and he hot. possibly. He's looking at the seven ball. Yeah, or but he, six, one of the he two. cuts that in, he'll miss the six, seven altogether. Yeah. It'll go right by it. Yeah. You think so? That's a pretty thin cut. Yeah. Yeah, he's. He can he can hit the seven. He's he's putting inside on it, so we'll see if it comes back that way. Yeah. Yeah, I just missed oh, it. He's supposed to put some inside yeah. on it. Yeah. He hit a little bit into it, not enough. Yeah. Real yeah. aggressive here by Dale. He oh, uh, yeah. he's on the hill and he wants to end this. Yep. He needs a nap. Oh God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, 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 wait, now you say you guys. You made that plural like it was two of us. Yeah, well you say you call him an old dog. He said he needs a nap. No, see we can't rob a bank with you. <laughs> don't abuse don't abuse the player. Don't rob a bank with him. Well he'd throw you right under the bus. Uh, yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, no, now you're joking, see? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if don't anything, go. if anything, you just tied that up. Uh, it might go on the side. Yeah, it looks like yeah. left him a decent shot in the side. <laughs> Jet fuel. Yeah, he left him a decent shot yeah. in the side pocket. Yeah, Roll it in. Roll it up for the seven. Might keep his, he, he wants an cue ball on the rail, though. Mm, yeah, he wants an angle on the yeah. seven to just get over for the eight.
So the question is, does he go for it? I mean, he's got to go for it because he's down. Yeah. But he's just, do you, ah, you wow. know, that's the that's the next best thing that could have happened yeah, right, to him. Right, is, right, yeah. You know, he move the seven down a little bit. Leave him a, a little tough angle on the six ball. Yeah. And I don't think this... He's, he's playing so tight right now that yeah. he's he's having a hard time yeah, it's tough. putting something together because he's tried to play safe on the one which he had a good opportunity. He hit it too hard. So he's playing definitely tightening up because he knows he doesn't have any, he can't give him any more chances. Vin, you are right. He is mentaled out. Yep. Yeah, he's either yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely overthinking things oh, or. Yeah, he's. Yeah. He just can't get a rhythm, yeah. and that's easy to do too, you know. Yeah, you can see, you can see when he sits down in the chair, he just sh hangs his head. And this, this is what goes on uh, when you're down by this far, oh, and you're yeah. trying to crawl out of the mud, you right. know. It's like throwing somebody in a hole, hand him a shovel, tell him, yeah. "Here, get out." Well, exactly. He needs to start when getting things going sand. his way, yeah. get a little momentum going, and he ain't, he's not able to find it yet. See this right here. This is. Uh, I got to take a flyer. This goes right in towards the hole. I got to take a shot at this. I, I would. And yeah, in, in his position, you got to. No, he's back cutting it. Yeah, he might have made yeah, the eight. Two-way shot there. Yeah, he's he got lucky. Yeah, he put the eight in. Oh, well, he can come two rails and hit make the hit the you know put the seven. Inside Same English. English. How about just inside English? Yeah. Come inside right English. off one. Inside English. Easy. That's yeah. the shot. Inside English. Yeah. So this one might be yeah. a game he can. You're well, down. As he just rolls this in. He doesn't have to do anything with it. Just roll the seven in. You're down five games. You start thinking too much. Yeah, there you go. Let the stroke out. Yeah, that's. Very good. All right, guy. he stole one back. That's a little confidence booster. Yep. All right, we're at uh, eight four. As Dale is on the hill, and Eric. Uh, Answering back, coming with that uh, last four ball run out there, just let his stroke out and said, hey, you know, it's, it's time for me to go. You know, I got to let my arm loose. And unfortunately, a lot of people do that when their opponent's on the hill. Yeah. Uh, you got to start doing that from the opening rack. Right. Uh, let's see if Eric can maintain control of the table. Yeah, as if he squats his ball. Nice. Coming up dry on the break, yeah, but yeah, he left him right in the middle of the table too. But the yeah. two balls a little funny. Two balls tied up. It Unless goes you can get below it. It goes right in that corner up there. Yep. Was the three ball? Okay, three balls next to the side. Mm -hmm. Four balls next to the nine ball. Was it? Nope. Down table. The five balls that one. I see Lori John walking through. Oh yeah, we got a winner side match coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Yeah, these 16 go home, 16 of them. Yep. Unless they get in the second chance on Sunday. I did. It I looks like that yeah, two ball I goes right in the side pocket. Yeah. But it's a steep angle. Yeah, that's a, that's don't, gonna say that's a not a bad. Oh, he played, oh, the, he wow. played the bigger hole. Nice choice. I like that. Yep. And he's got the side pocket for the Trisket. Yeah, and he's got a good angle, you know. Natural angle to roll yeah, off for the, for the seven four, right? for the four ball round. Just be careful if you roll this. Yeah. You'll wind up on the short side of this. He, yep. This four. He didn't roll it. He got yeah, enough he, speed to bounce. Yeah. Nice shot, Dale. Ah, plenty yeah. of angle. Nice shot. So now you come right. single right down the center of the table. Yep. So you see Mike Zuglin in the background there uh, walking by with the names once again. They're getting ready to start up the next round in yeah. about a half hour. <laughs> they're giving it their rapid firing right at us here, uh, match after match at the Turning Stone Casino as the action just heats up hotter and hotter. Yeah, they don't drag their feet, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, he's got a little funny angle on this because he's going to play with the end of the nine now. So that may yeah. change his angle on his six ball. He may not get the cue under it. I don't know if he has to touch it. Is that five high enough? Looks he like the cue ball is going right into the yeah, nine. It looks, yeah. It's so that's going to send the nine, well, the cue ball towed the six ball. Or the nine toads, the six ball. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to get out. He needs to be back out the by the, cue ball by the break too spot. Far over. Yeah, he needs to get out by the break spot to uh, the rack spot, rather, to 
He might tie that nine up. He might tie nine up with a seven ball. I don't know. Draw straight out. Good call. He's okay. All okay. Yeah, that was he all right. Made he made out. Yeah. He, I think he'd much rather shoot the seven in this oh, corner. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he, I yeah. think he'd rather shoot it in the upper corner now. We'll yeah, see, we'll yeah. see if he can draw it out of there. See, he's he's, he's playing up. for the side. Yeah, yeah, that's not good no. because now you got to force gotta, that seven. Yeah, right. you got to play it down in the corner and let right. the cue ball go back across the table. Right. Looks like he's got an angle on the six to give him the angle on the seven to go down table. Let's see what he does here. Yeah. Let's see if he can draw it out. Unless he wants to play the combination, but I, I don't think I would want to do that for the hill. Yeah, not for the hill match. But then again, you're, you're six ahead, so it's. Yeah, you can take a shot at five it. ahead, round. He's second guessing himself. Yeah, yeah, he's not liking it. No. That's a tough shot. I mean, you, you either force, can you force it forward and come off two rails? That's what I was looking at. Is or get, do you just, you know, can you draw it back far enough to get in, get inside it? He's gonna come over. He's gonna come off. Yeah, see, he tried to draw it, but it didn't work. Yeah. Well, I know why he didn't want to go two rails because it's easy to that nine gets big coming at it from that yeah, angle. Now and you can't you can't force that ball in the side pocket and get back across that table. I no. mean, you can, but it's tough. Unless he's going to bank the eight cross side. He's going to run it all the way up the table. Watch here. No. See, no, yeah, I think he heard I don't him. think so. I, he's playing. I don't think he's going to do yeah. that because he's he's too conservative yeah. to do that. But he don't have enough. To force it in the side pocket and get back across the table, he don't have enough angle on He's got a nice hook if he wants to hook him behind a nine here. He's got a couple of options. Yeah. He's going to roll this in the side pocket, and the he's going to try to go across the table not, with the cue ball. It's very he's difficult. He's not playing safe. No. There's no way. Not I'm, being on the hill. No. I'm, I say he's going to make the seven in the side, bank the eight cross side. And he's swinging at it. Watch this. Side pocket, yeah, and he's trying to come across. And those pockets are tough. Yeah, they're tough, man. They're yeah. A brand new rubber and got big points on him. Yeah, yeah. I so think he. I think his best option was to just roll that seven in the side pocket. Right. And yep. either play safe on the eight or bank it, depending on how he laid on it. Eric's got air. You can see the young lady in the background right behind us. That's Annie Flores, and it looks like she's set up to play. Is that Jennifer Laurie, Beretta? Laurie no. John. Oh, Laurie, no, Laurie John. John. Oh, I see Laurie John off to the side there. Yeah. Now he's this guy's getting a little bit of life yeah, back into yeah, him. Yeah, he's uh, stepping his game up here. It's Next TV match is Dennis Grabe. He's going to be playing Sean Wilkie. But we have this match at hand. And right now it's uh, Eric at five and Dale at eight, which is on the hill. Turning Stone Classic 31. We're live right here, folks, from the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. If it's feasible for you to get here, a great event to uh, witness. We have Joe Collins and Bill Cody uh, in the booth. Bring your long johns. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? It ain't not bad. It's not bad. You as a country boy down in Pennsylvania, you're talking about wearing long johns in well, here? We ain't working in the fields now. We're working in the shop with the heater on. <laughs> <laughs> One ball, side pocket. Yeah. See if he has a shot on the deuce. He yeah, does. The shot does. is there. It's there. He's got to try something here. He's uh. He can roll it. He's the, still three down. So. The four ball's near the side pocket. Or is the three ball? In the, no, that's the four ball going into the side. Just roll this. Easy. Missed it. Overdid it. Wow. No, it's, not, it's not a bad leave, though. Well, it's bad when you got to. Yeah. When you get your opponent out of the seat, you really don't want to. Let him out, but if you want it to miss, this is the way you want it to miss, right? Yeah, he's got a, he's gonna hit the right side of the two ball, so. Yeah, he's got a, I like going rail first. He can make this. Hit rail first and let the spin, spin the two ball in. Yeah, I don't know what the reward is for making it. Well, none. if you amp it up. There is none. Well, he's gonna play safe. He's gonna try to hook him behind the nine. Mm -hmm. Double kiss scratch, you gotta watch here. Oh, he's just gonna try yeah, to play the two behind the nine. Uh, he'll cut. He'll either cut it in. I don't know. I think about me. I just give it a ride. <laughs> we gonna do? <laughs> hey, uh, there it 
Oh, wow. But he's... Uh, rail first shot. Yeah, he's going to have to rail first, spin it in. He'll go to the short rail. I mean, not short rail, but the right rail, our right. If he hits it right, he'll be right back in center of the table for that four ball. Nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. Real nice. And he's got a shot on the four ball. I thought that was a three ball, that was, but yeah. That's a five ball in the uh, yeah. right long yeah. rail there. That natural, natural English should put him right on over there. He's punching it. He had him. Yeah. If you let it go, he would have wound up mm. in nowhere's oh, land. Yeah, no man land, right? Nice shot right there. Yeah, yeah, he's on that. I can't tell you. Does he have an angle on the five now, or he's straight in on it? He's no, straight, he's straight in, in on it. Well, it don't matter. Six but is the right six there. is down there, yeah. He needs to come off that rail just a little bit, though. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, just enough. Don't get straight. Who's shaking the room here? Alex Brokovich uh, moving into one of our cameras. <laughs> I think the Russians are doing it on purpose. Uh, I don't think he was Italian. Laurie John's uh, going to be in a match playing Annie Flores. She's coming up. She'll be in the background. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, just going to roll up, take the seven. And we'll just pass the eight ball. Give him a shot in the side, and then the nine in the corner. You like it inside or draw it back? I think drawing it back, uh, he might have a little no. angle. He's not. He's. How he about roll it? He hadn't had good. We just oh, it. God, we got the score on. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. My son walked away and left a big score up there. Apologize, guys. Yeah, I was looking he, at rolling it yeah. myself. Well, now he'll just play it up in that corner. That's yep. a lot of table there, though. A whole and lot I, of table. I think he rolled it further than he wanted. He yeah. was looking at the side pocket. Mm -hmm. But he's. I think he's yeah. good here. All I do is play a little stop shot. Just don't get jumpy. Don't jump up. He jumped up one time, missed a shot. Yep. Well, he's that going, usually he's, happens. He's splitting the pocket with this one. He's right in the hole, right in the center. For the win here. Yep. For the win. Well, Pops took him to school. There you That's have it. it. Dale Kimmett uh, defeats Eric. Good job. Crow 2 by a score of 9-5. Joe Collins was in the booth yeah. with Bill Cody. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. We'll be back in just a little while, folks. Stand by.